Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this is going to be our next part of e-commerce grocery app using .NET MAUI. So today my voice may not be that good because I'm still not feeling well. All right. So in previous video, we worked on, uh, this is the app we have built so far we have this main home page we have all these pages we have not worked on those we have these popular products section then shop by category then on popular product we can add items to the cart and when we add items to the cart we can see this nice floating action button which shows the number of products in our cart and if we tap on this it goes to the cart page we worked on this cart page also so from here also we can modify this and the total amount is going to be modified as per the changes we are making here and if we remove item from here and we go back then we can see those changes here as well cool so this is the app we have built so far in this video we are going to work on this categories page okay so let's get started so first thing we have this pages category page already defined so in this uh, we are going to have just a list of categories nothing else on this page so i'm not going to create a view model for this but you can try it using view model as well so what i'm gonna do i'll create a property here which will be of type observable collection so observable collection of type category and i'll name it categories with default as new <clears throat> cool and in this i'm going to override a method which is going to be our own appearing method and then i'll fill out these categories in order to do that we have our category service so i'm going to use our category service i'm injecting this and from here we can directly use this to fill out the category so what we'll do first we'll clear the categories <coughs> sorry categories collection and after this we'll apply a for each here and we'll get categories from our category service so await underscore category service dot get categories async like this and then we are going to fill these categories uh, it should be category hmm. so now we are filling the categories in this categories uh, observable collection now next thing let's uh, set the binding context for this page and we'll use the same page this only because we are setting the binding context for this page so we can directly use this categories property here cool now cs uh, xaml okay let's change the title to categories or maybe all categories all categories and we'll add a namespace for this current page only so we'll say xmlns pages pages and apart from this we need category model so we'll say xmlns and models and here we'll use models so this models cool the next thing we'll set the data type for this page so that we can get the intelligence support so this is going to be this current page only which is categories page cool now in this thing we will have a scroll view okay and in this scroll view we are going to have a collection view like this and in this collection view first 
we'll use item source this we are going to get it from binding and this is going to be categories <coughs> and we are going to use a three column grid layout for this so for this we can set items layout to vertical grid with three columns fine now let's define the items one by one item template so collection view dot item template this will be a data template and we'll set data type and this data type is going to be category <coughs> which will come from models models dot category right what is the issue okay models i set it to view models it should be models category this one fine in here we are going to have a border so well, let's run it and we'll see the design in uh, we'll see the design live app is here category page no parameter less constructor defined for type categories page we have not registered it to the di so let's add this to the di first dependency container so we are here we'll say builder dot services dot add transient and categories page like this save and okay this is coming from our api so let me stop the api also rerun api so start without debugging and then rerun this app like this app is here let's see categories page right now we cannot see anything because we have not added anything so here let me first add a label so that we can see that this vertical grid three column it is working so let's have category name binding so now we can see these uh, categories in the grid with three columns cool now what we'll do we'll create a border here border and on this border we'll set a background color or maybe yeah let's have a background color of static resource primary this color inside this we'll have our stroke shape which is going to be rounded rectangle so rounded rect round rectangle with corner radius of 5 and then let's have a margin of 5 from all the sides cool inside this we'll have a grid <coughs> with two rows one for image category image and one for category name so in this we'll set our row definitions to start whatever space the image takes and the second one for that name we'll use 40 fixed height inside this so you can see the design now it looks pretty good we'll use image with grid dot row zero <coughs> and then source is going to be binding and image which is coming from category okay and on this we'll set aspect to aspect fill like this and now we can see the images fine after this we'll use a label this is going to be grid dot row one first row and then the text is going to be binding and name which is category name like this Cool. Now let's move it to vertical option to center. Then horizontal options to center. Okay. 
line it is automatically going to the next line right so yeah but still let's use line break mode if it does not go somehow so we'll use word wrap for this so that the text moves to the second line and when we have this word wrap on we cannot use horizontal options we'll use horizontal text alignment which is going to be center so we can see all these things going to center on this let's have a padding do we need a padding no we can this is fine then let's use text color of white which looks nice <clears throat> cool so i think this page looks pretty good cool next thing we need to work on the categories uh products page so if we click on fruit so it should navigate to a page where we'll see all the products belongs to that fruits category if we go to milk curd and yogurt then the that page should should show all the products under this category cool so that we are going to work next cool let's create that page <clears throat> so save everything and on pages we'll create a new page here new item dot net maui content page xaml and here let's say category products page like this okay category products page is fine and we'll create a view model for this so let's create a new view model so new class in view models folder and let's name it same category products view model <coughs> sorry so public class this and now we will register this category products view model and our categories page to the dependency container here so what we'll do we'll say builder dot services dot add transient to with shell route so we are using this from community toolkit <laughs> so here first we need to provide the page name which is category products page and second is going to be the view model which is going to be category products view model and then we need to provide a route so route is going to be name of the category products page like this cool so this is fine what is the issue okay so issue is this is not a observable object right now so we'll make it observable object we'll make it partial and then we'll inherit it from observable object observable object like this cool now it should be fine fine so we have registered this shell route for this now we can go to this page directly so right now continue editing fine let's go to our categories page again and from here on this collection view let's add the event handler for this so what we'll do first we'll say selection mode so from here we can select a single item at a time and on this then we'll say selection changed we are not using M mvvm for this particular page so i'm not using this command and command parameter but you can use commands for uh, in this code behind also you can define command but i'm using this event only so new event handler now let's go to this here we have this object sender and selection changed event args so from this e we have access to current selection which is a i read only list of object and this object is going to be the type of the item our collection view has in our case collection view has 
items of type category. So this object is going to be of type category. So what we'll do, we'll simply check it and typecast it to our category and then we'll use it. So how we can do this? So we can do e dot current selection because this is read only list. So we can apply indexer on this. So we'll check for nullability. If this is category, I'm using pattern matching here like this. So if this is not null and it is type of category which is we know we are sure this is going to be and then we are setting that uh, we are casting this to type category and creating this variable of this type category. Now we can use this category directly. Fine. Continue editing. Now from here we can directly navigate to the R categories uh, products page where we'll say shell dot current dot go to async and here we can simply define category products page like this and now it should navigate to the category products page directly right now this is incomplete because we are selecting the category so we need to pass this category to the this page and on this page, we will fetch the products that belongs to that particular category. But first, let's try this. If this navigation is working, so let me stop everything, save everything, run API, debug, start without debugging, and then let's run the app. Okay, app is loading. Fetching data. <coughs> cool. Go to categories. And we can see all these categories. And we can click on it. And it will navigate us to the category products page. Go back. And this is working as expected. Cool. Okay. Now, next thing we are going to work on this page. So, we will work on this page in our next part. Till then, please like this video, share this video, subscribe my channel. I'll be back soon with the next part. Bye-bye.